This is the Seven Figure Agency Podcast. Discover the strategies and techniques to grow a highly successful and profitable digital marketing agency with your host, Josh Nelson. What's up, digital marketing agency owners? On today's video, I want to talk to you about how to land clients with webinars and kind of one of my favorite strategies that we use month in and month out to build our authority, to develop our positioning, to get new strategy sessions with our ideal prospects and to grow our agency. So if you wanna land clients on demand and improve your positioning, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. All right, so I call this strategy the monthly webinar method. And really, as I think about it, usually as we're marketing our digital marketing agencies to, to get leads, to get sales, to get appointments, Typically, we do a couple things, right? We, we try and do some cold outreach. We get a list of prospects and we send introductions. Maybe we join an association so that we can plug into that. And maybe we, we reach out to those people. We connect with them on social media. We send them an introductory email. Um, and then we do some of our own marketed lead generation. Maybe we run Facebook ads or we run Google ads. And we wind up getting some prospects, ideally that sit in a CRM somewhere, right? Whether it's on high level or whatever system you might be using, and maybe they run through a little bit of a sequence. We call them a couple times, we email them a couple times, but eventually they're just kind of sitting there dormant, right? And if we're not touching the database on a consistent basis, if we're not engaging with those prospects, um, we're not gonna develop the ultimate no like, and trust, which is what we really want. And so really what we have to do is we have to figure out how do we shift from dormant prospects sitting on our database to touching them two to three times per week with value added content and nurturing them and offering to help so that they see our value and eventually when they're ready, when they're in the time that they're ready to make the next move, they think of us, they contact us, they schedule in with us. And so I found webinars to be the ultimate shortcut for making this happen consistently and well in your business. Now, when I say webinars, I'm talking specifically about topical webinars that are value added. So not a sales pitch, not a value stack session that you do once and repeat again and again. You're going deep on a very specific topic that would be relevant to your niche every single month. And so really what I found is monthly webinars can be the ultimate content lever for your digital marketing agency. And the reason for that is twofold. It's going to help you grow your database. So if you're doing webinars every month and you're promoting those webinars and then you syndicate those webinars, Every time you do that, you're gonna have new inbound content that can be discovered and you can pull people in to your world. And so by doing that, you're gonna grow your database. But the other really big part about why these topical webinars work so well is because it also helps you to nurture that database, those prospects that you need to be touching on a consistent basis. When you do a monthly webinar, you have something to invite them to. I've got this webinar coming up on Thursday at four o'clock. Would you like to join me? I'm gonna be talking about how to get ranked on the Google Maps. And then you have a reason to email them a couple of times, right? Hey, the webinar's coming up. Hey, we're about to start. And then afterwards, hey, in case you missed it, here's the replay, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So you can use this as a forced mechanism to create new content, which is going to grow your database. And then you use it as a, as a reason to touch your existing database on email, on social media, so that they develop that no like trust. And so, Really what we're looking for, and, and the way I think about the monthly webinar method, is a systematic process for creating new content and nurturing your prospect database. And, you know, without getting super, super you know, detailed and kind of going through all the bullets here, again, it gives you a reason to contact the database multiple times, before the webinar, after the webinar. It drives multiple sources of new content. Let's say you promote a webinar, you show up, you, you, you record it, right? You create great content while you're recording it. And then that can live on YouTube. It can live on, um, it can live on iTunes. It can be created as a blog post. It, the slides can be lo loaded up on SlideShare. You've got new content that's, you know, not short form, you know, nonsensical, but long form, super high value content that you're forcing yourself to create every single month. And so that's why this is so powerful. Really one live webinar, lets you touch your database at least three times. It also creates six pieces of unique content that you can syndicate out. And I'll get you the details on like, 
you know, how to do it, what the step-by-step are, but hopefully that makes sense conceptually. The reason I do a webinar every single month is so that I have that new content going out and I've got a reason to remain top of mind and it makes me prolific with my industry, right? Because it seems like Josh Nelson from Plumbing and HVAC SEO is constantly rolling out this new information is on the cutting edge. And of course, that leads to better positioning, speaking opportunities, and prospects entering our world pre-positioned to buy. So you might wonder, okay, I get it. Yep, I, I'll, I get it. Like I should do webinars on a more consistent basis and I should do them live so that I can um, build my authority. So I get those clients kind of expressing some level of interest in what we do. But what topics would I talk about? What are some good topics for webinars? Well, what I found is just taking the fundamentals of online marketing and applying it to your niche works really, really well. So as an example, the new SEO formula, right? Take whatever's happening in SEO and apply that to your niche. So every every year I do a new SEO formula session specifically for plumbing and HVAC contractors. And I talk about how to set up the website and how to create the content, how to build the links, how to get the rankings up. And of course I show examples of clients we work with and where they rank. And of course I see testimonials throughout that. So while I'm giving information and I'm building authority, I'm also seeding our expertise and seeding the results that we're able to generate. So if you do SEO, obviously a SEO specific session makes a lot of sense. Um, how to optimize your website for maximum conversion, right? We just talk about what they need to do on their website to make sure it's built to convert, where to put the phone number, where to put the chat box, why you wanna have online scheduling. And then of course I show examples, like here's one of our clients and here's how we set up their website. And you know, here's the tracking I have in place where I can show you what the conversion rate is. And so you're adding value, but you're also seeding what you can bring to the table and the results you can drive. How to get ranked on the Google map in your, it goes very specific on what are the tactics, what are the techniques to claim the Google listing, to build the citations, to drive online reviews, and ultimately to move up in the map, right? And of course, we show examples. Hey, here's the clients that are ranked on number one in the map for all of these different keywords. And we pull up a, a geogrid and show like, wow, look at, look how effective these strategies are, which seeds the expectation. That, okay, Josh from Plumbing and HVAC SEO knows how to get ranked on the Google map. Clients just like me, and I've seen results that they've generated. And that's what I want you to do as you think through the type of content that you create on your monthly webinars. Um, how to maximize your lead flow with Google ads and pay-per-click advertising. How to win with local service ads. This is a big topic in home services right now. Uh, and then we do a quarterly planning session. And so these are just some examples, right? You're a student of the game. You're watching this video, which means you watch other videos on what's going on with SEO and pay-per-click and social media and funnels what I want you to do is take your knowledge that you're developing, the new things that you're hearing, and apply it to your very specific niche. And then show up and create great value. Explain it specifically for your niche. Show examples of companies just like them, and then make an offer. Look, if you'd like some help, at the end of these webinars, you do say, hey, look, if you'd like some help to get ranked better on the Google map, we'd love to chat. You know, click the link and let's schedule a time or go to our website slash schedule and bring them into your appointment funnel. So some great topics that you can run your webinars on. And I really think that, you know, not only is a new webinar per month something that can drive your entire content engine, I, I really find that it can be the number one driver of appointments in your appointment engine. Right? Yes, it creates content. Yes, it builds authority, but it also is one of the main things we do to get appointments every single month. And so what you have to do is make sure that you've got a, a very basic funnel and you off, offer them a shortcut. So whatever the topic is for the month, this month we're doing a webinar on everything you need to know about local service ads, right? And how to, how to generate more leads and sales with local service ads. We promote that via email, via social media, via, um, you know, all of the different channels that we have access to. They go, they, re they register. But really what I want you to make sure you do is offer them the shortcut after they register. So they register and they're gonna to get to a page that says, hey, thanks so much for registering for the webinar. It's gonna be awesome. If you're like most plumbing companies, you like to know what's going on with local service ads, you like to be on the cutting edge, but you might just be looking for someone that can implement that for you. And so if that's you, I'd like to offer you a free strategy session. We'll look at your market, we'll look at your most important keywords, and we'll walk you through how to set up local service ads and how to get those results. If that sounds good, go ahead and schedule now. Right? At the end of the day, the reason we create content is so that we can get strategy sessions. And oftentimes we think of webinars or even lead magnets, hey look, they need to consume that content before they're gonna take the next action. 
But what I've found is your best customer, the type A personality, they register for this type of stuff, but they don't attend, right? They get busy, they never watch it, they don't show up live, they don't watch the replay. And so if we can catch them in that moment while they've just registered, they're interested in the topic, and get them onto the calendar, that's where the magic happens. And so don't feel like oh, I just gotta do the webinars and I gotta you know, just hope that people watch the whole thing and they get to the end of my webinar and it turns into appointments. Um, what we found, and, and I think this is super important that you understand, is that the magic, we get as many appointments from people just registering for the webinar and going straight to appointment as we do from people actually watching the webinar. So don't overthink the topic, don't overthink the slides, don't overthink about you know, how to set up the promotion. The reality is if you can come up with a good topic every single month, you can send a couple emails about it, you can post about it on social media, and you can offer that shortcut that in and of itself is gonna create more appointments, which ultimately is gonna drive more sales. It's also gonna help drive your authority because even if people don't watch the training, they see that you're creating content on a consistent basis. You're being consistent, you're being prolific, and you will be thought of as a thought leader within your industry. And the reality is people pay a premium to work with the best of the best. They pay a premium to work with the expert. And that's what this strategy enables you to do. Now, you do wanna syndicate the content as well. So yes, we're gonna show up, we're gonna do a great session for the people that are on live, we're gonna make it engaging, we're gonna engage in the chat, we're gonna answer questions, but we're gonna have a great recording after. And this isn't one of those things where it's like, oh, I have to be live to, you know, to get value. Don't do that, right? You're gonna take the recording of your webinar and you're gonna do it a couple things. Yes, you're gonna take the video and you're gonna put it right up on YouTube and you're gonna title it correctly so it's got your keywords and your niche in it. You're gonna have a great description that's probably transcribed and very rich in content. Then you're gonna put that, that video on your website with the transcription, with the great um, title. So that's gonna create long form, you know, long tail keywords that you can rank for organically. You're gonna take the audio and load that up onto iTunes, so now you've got a great long form podcast episode for the month. Take the slides, put them up on SlideShare, um, post about it on social media. Hey, in case you missed it, this is what we talked about, this is what we're, we're, we're covered. These were the key insights and takeaways. And the other thing I would recommend you do, there's great AI platforms now, like opus.ai, where you can take your long form video that was maybe 45 minutes to an hour, your webinar recording, and you drop that link and then Opus finds short form clips and gives you 10 different clips that you can load to Instagram, to Reels, to Shorts. And so by doing one webinar per month, you create the source material that creates appointments, that creates content, but then also gives you so many little snippets that you can use to further position yourself. So hopefully this makes sense. You know, really, if we can, if we can do this once a month, you will be prolific, your calendar will be full, and you'll be continuing to build your authority in the industry. Now, this strategy, the monthly webinar method, fits into our agency growth system, which are the key things you wanna be doing daily, monthly, and quarterly to have enough strategy sessions to be on track for seven figures or multiple seven figures over the next 12 to 24 months. And if it's right here, once a month, we're gonna do one webinar and we're gonna do one podcast episode. So hopefully that's helpful. If you'd like some more very specific details on how to run the monthly webinar method, uh, you know, kind of what strategies you can use for syndication or syndication checklist, you can access that at sevenfigureagency.com slash webinars. Um, and this is actually one of the things we bring to the table for our seven figure agency members, right? Everything we teach on our growth system, we give to our seven figure community and like expect it to be done. I mean, to be compliant, our members are doing these webinars every month. They're doing a podcast interview every single month. And so as part of our seven figure community, we actually give the high level snapshot with the promotional emails, the confirmation emails, the landing page, the confirmation page, the script for the videos, the presentation slides for all of the different webinars that we run, recordings of those, um, any of the guides and cheat sheets that we incorporate into those webinars. And so, you, you know, if you're interested in shortcutting this process, that's one of the things we bring to the table as part of our seven figure agency community that might be of interest to you. So thanks for watching today. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, type webinars if you're committed to do this, if it kind of resonates with you now, why you should be doing webinars every single month. So type webinars if you're committed to do one webinar per month 
And if you want more resources on how to do this, go to sevenfigureagency.com slash webinars. Thanks so much for watching. If you got value, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. We're posting every Monday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So subscribe now, hit the notifications bell, and I'll talk to you again soon.